So welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit about fall cleanup here. We're in late summer, but headed into early fall. And you want to start thinking about being a little bit of a lazy gardener in the fall. I know a lot of people really love to get up every single leaf, but did you realize that your leaves are contained your next year's butterflies? And so you don't want to clean those up. Ideally, you could put them behind some shrubs or underneath shrubs or shred them and put them in your compost pile. They make excellent compost for your next year's spring garden. But in addition, when you are starting to clean up your perennials, like I did last year with this bee balm, you want to leave at least a foot of your stalk standing. Now, the reason that we're doing that is so that you can have hotels for overwintering bees. A lot of our native bees don't have a nest, and they're going to lay their eggs in the hollow stems of stalks like this one. And that way, they give their cells and their babies some place to hide out for the winter. So if you are cleaning up your garden and there are certainly things that have already passed their prime here like this blue vervain we want to leave at least a foot of that standing so what you're going to want to do is just cut off the dead flowers like so and then this can go straight in your compost pile but these are really pithy stems and they're hollow inside. So this is gonna be your baby bassinet for the next year's bees. So we want to leave that. Also, insects are gonna drill holes into these remaining stems and they themselves will use them as a hotel. Your leaf litter kind of becomes a blanket. So if you love things like fireflies and also overwintering moths and butterflies, they're going to use that blanket as cover to remain in the soil. In addition, you're gonna, that's gonna be your tree's food for the next year. So you definitely want to leave those very nutritious food sources under those plants. Now, monarchs, for the most part, on the East Coast, migrate down to Mexico. So this doesn't necessarily apply to them. But we definitely want to be smart gardeners when we're cleaning up the garden. So we have less work to do the following season.